you know, Bow Wow out in these streets starting up a new challenge. I just can picture people videotaping themselves getting whooped out by a woman. I'm guessing that that's the new Bow Wow challenge. Getting whooped out by a woman. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently, Bow Wow has decided to take the fight to the streets. And he's decided to take the fight not to the regular streets, but the streets where the women is. That's right, Bow Wow and a woman have been arrested for battery of each other. Now, I mean, I don't really know, it, it, not for nothing, I don't really recall Bow Wow being the type of thug type of person. I know he tried to portray it at one point, but we all know he's not, which is just fine, by the way, because the world needs more regular people. But at the same time, just because you're not a thug or because you are a thug, that doesn't mean that you got a right to get into a fight with a female. Now, with that being said, I have been attacked by females before, and depending on the situation you handle it with, you handle it in a different manner. Um, I, the last female that actually tried to attack me or did attack me, she slapped me a couple of times. We was in an argument. She got shot to get physical. She slapped me, and all I did was hold her. And then, yeah, she said I assaulted her. So, yeah, that's that's the way that works out sometimes. So you have to know to get away from people in situations like that. Real talk. Oh, man, I told the story before the channel with a live stream. She slapped the shit out of me two or three times. You know, you're like, hold on, I'm trying to tell you something. You know how you, like, hold somebody by the shoulders or whatever? It's a long story. Anyway, so Bow Wow gets into a real fight. Because that really wasn't a fight. She's a woman. She slapped me a couple of times. What's the big deal? Bow Wow gets into a real fight. When I tell you he got lacerations across his face like he was fighting a Wendigo, he got lacerations across his face like he's been fighting a Wendigo. So this is one of those situations where the police show up and they might want to just arrest the guy and let the woman go. But they look at the guy and be like, how are we going to bring this dude down to the freaking courthouse? down to the court, down to the station and and we're gonna not bring her and it's so obvious that she assaulted this guy really obvious it's like she she threw him you, you ever seen a, a burger king patty yeah that's how his face looks she was and put it like this if he would have turned up dead they would have been looking for skin on the nail somewhere this was terrible uh, and not for nothing like how is he gonna heal from this like is those scars gonna be the anyway that's neither here nor there so what actually happened was, at least the, the gist of it that I've gotten is, the police say that rapper Bow Wow had been arrested following a fight with a woman. And they said that there was like, the the, the email, the rapper's name, he was Shad Morse, right? He was, it was happened on Saturday or something like that. Anyway, this is just all messed up. So police were called to an address in Midtown Atlanta. Why is all of these rappers living in Atlanta? Is Atlanta that dope? Like what's happening in Atlanta? I don't know. Anyway, so police was called to an address in Midtown Atlanta around 5, um, 4, 5, 4.15 a.m. When they arrived, a woman named Leslie Holden. Yo, I used, to, I used to like this girl named Leslie when I was like in elementary school. Like she was a cutie. She was a cutie. Anyway, her name was Leslie Rush. She was a cutie. Anyway, when they arrived, a woman named Leslie Holden told them she'd been assaulted by Moss. Officers also spoke with Moss, who said Holden assaulted him. Now, we have pictures of, of uh, Shad Moss, uh, Bow Wow, and I'm going to absolutely say, I mean, she should be able to argue that she didn't assault him. It was an animal. The animal ran out into the woods somewhere. It wasn't me. Like, that's how the scars look. Like, she should realistically be able to say, look, look, officers, that wasn't me. What kind of human can make marks like that? And then, you know, they call CSI. Anyway, 
So police say both Moss and Holden had visible minor injuries. I do not call his injuries minor. When you make a living off of your looks and you look like somebody just slapped you in the face with a rake, that shit ain't working. Anyway, police say Shad Moss, police say both Moss and Holden had visible minor injuries. Officers couldn't tell who was the primary aggressor, so they both were charged with battery. Nine times out of ten, what they're saying is his injuries, I'm telling you, his injuries were so bad that they couldn't say that he was the aggressor. Because you know they like throwing dudes under the bus for shit like this. Facts. A woman could be like, he hurt my feelings. Police is chaining you up. Anyway, the investigation is still ongoing. Obviously, they don't believe one side or the other. Nobody knows what the hell is going on. Nine times out of ten, they probably just want both people to just stop trying to press charges against the other. Why don't both of y'all just go home to your separate dom <laughs> separate dwellings, take a damn shower. I don't know. It's Atlanta. Smoke a doobie. And then relax. How about that? Because we can just take y'all all to court or to jail, and then you end up going to court. And I don't think you're going to be liking that any. But, you know, that's how people giving it up nowadays. I mean, seriously, I mean, his injuries are so bad, it don't even make sense. His injuries, I mean, what? Yo, not for nothing, I don't even need to see her injuries. He lost this fight. Facts. He lost this fight. I don't know, maybe he should just start, like, dating women that don't want to argue. Like, not for nothing, I prefer to date women that, you know, they, you know, I guess passive-aggressive women. They some passive-aggressive women. You know what I'm saying? That they argue, you know, by just, you know, making you a little bit sadder every day. They're not going to argue by just trying to, you know, hurt you. Because <laughs> that's what passive aggressive people do. The way they argue, it just makes you sadder every day. Matter of fact, stay away from passive aggressive people. They can, they cause motherfuckers to get depression. That's a fact. Anyway, um, let me know what y'all guys think about this. Leave it down in the comment section. I don't know what's going on with Bow Wow. Whatever. I mean, what the hell, man? Like, why are you? I don't know why he's fighting a woman in the first place. I wasn't there. Maybe he had a good reason. But at the end of the day, if you got to fight the female man, you can't then lose. I don't know what she looks like, but I see what he, he lost. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.